All right, thanks everybody. Um, so as I you know, thought about giving a five minute presentation, I couldn't come up with really one thing to really talk about, so I decided to do five. Um, so we'll go through this as kind of quickly as we can, but I really wanted to talk about you know, a lot of the lessons that we've learned working with all of the different clients we have across North America, across, really across the world. And one of the challenges that you know, we see when people really dive into things like Backstage is if you're really not careful, you can actually make your developer experience a lot worse. If, you, you know, if you're not thinking about design, if you're not thinking about the experience, if you're not thinking about the challenges that your development community really has, you know, standing up another portal or you know, another tool or another thing that's out there that people can't know, can't trust, and don't really have that set of visibility, you, know, you can really make their life much worse than uh, it was in the past. The second one is Backstage is not a magical tool. It will not all of a sudden resolve all of your organizational challenges your bad processes. It's not gonna automatically spit out some domains or systems or lineage or any of the other things that are out there. And it really takes an organizational journey of the development community, the leadership community, and setting and aligning goals that everybody can really drive towards to be successful. We've run into many people that, you know, they get six months down the road of trying to set up a developer tool or, or you know, doing things from a developer experience perspective, and they're just not getting results. And a lot of that has to do with they're really not thinking about things from a really organic point of view and figuring out how to build up all of the things that are necessary to really make an impact to your overall developer experience. The, you know, another problem that we also run into is that you know, kind of leadership in the development community have very different sets of goals. And while, you know, if you, you need kind of a top-down approach, you need to have, you know, leadership be very engaged with being able to drive good developer experience, but you also need to understand what are the actual problems that your development community is having, and how do you meet those two in the middle and set up a structure that, a, you know, it helps drive both of those problems and can give, a, you know, really results in the end. And it should be, you know, metrics driven, as all of us probably are very well aware at this point, but figuring out how do you actually measure all of these things, and a lot of that can be done through having strong product management. Um, you know, they're, you know, product management is a little bit of a, a touchy topic in, in some, some circles, but being able to have someone that owns and is driving your developer experience across the board is going to really help drive success overall. And the last one is really, you know, platform engineering is a huge, it should be a big push in many organizations, um, and Backstage is a really great partner to that. You know, as you build out your, uh, your self-service, you know, all of your different, you know, platform and, and um, tools and services. Backstage is a really great platform that can sit on top of that, give you insights into what's actually happening, but also provide that critical feedback loop. One of the big challenges that you see is if you're, you know, setting up DevSecOps tools, all of those pieces, how do you actually give a lot of that information back to a developer in an easy way? You know, a lot of times you'll see some, you know, reports that get written out to a certain drive or, um, you know, a dashboard buried three levels deep in some kind of reporting tool. But Backstage provides information in context across all of these different tools, which is one of the things that I really love about it. As you look through your, you know, your catalog or your domains or all of the different ways that you can build experiences, you give people an easy way to be able to view all of that without having to think about it all that much. And as you can think about lowering you know, the cognitive load that it takes to be able to solve problems in your organization, the better off you're gonna be. And then the last one is if you're, if you're struggling with adoption, and I know a lot of people are, you really need to rethink your overall strategy. And you know, being able to you know, survey your people, ask them what their problems are. I have not run into a single organization where most of the developers didn't know where the problems is. Just nobody asks. And you know, thinking about standing up a dev portal is great. Backstage is great. 
but really getting to understand your community, what they, what their problems are, where they need to go, the, the, the things that are really, you know, grinding everything to a halt on their day-to-day -day basis, just ask them, they'll tell you. And there's a bunch of great plugins and, and other things that you can build into, uh, into Backstage to gather this information. But, you know, that's really the great way to, uh, to kind of go about it. Talk to your people, survey them, and actually give them the, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and the light at the end of that tunnel is not necessarily a train. And you'll get people to stick around and be able to build that sense of community and drive your whole organization forward and uh, really improve developer experience across the board. Five minutes and 45 seconds. I can't believe it. So on time. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Thank you so much, Chris. Yeah, we can probably take like two questions if you're up for it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Do we have any questions? Yeah. Over there. Well, we got, we got a few. I, I try to be very quick. I like the slide with the backstage must align with leadership and developer goals because I had the same customers come, we present backstage, they love it. And I said to them, hey, this is not just a tool where you interact for scaffold or whatever. Think about it's a strategic decision. You need to have also, as you mentioned in the slide, the, the backup from above to succeed. So I highly uh, can mm -hmm. confirm what you said. I try this also so people don't think it's a silver bullet. You install and then, hey, why it doesn't work or why it doesn't have the measures I thought of. Yeah. I, I, I absolutely agree. We as technologists tend to think about things from standing up technology and you know, yes, we can stand up backstage, we can make it super resilient, we can do all of these things, and yet nobody wants to use it. And because it's not a technology problem, it's a people problem, it's a process problem, it's a mindset problem. And as you, you know, really think about improving developer experience and really operational efficiencies, engineering effectiveness, all of those different pieces, it really takes everyone to be able to drive that. And it is almost nothing to do with the technology underneath. I, I had a question. Here. Oh, this side. Ah, there we are. Ah, yes. Yeah, you uh, mentioned about information in context. Can you give a little more uh, details about it? Yeah, so if you think about, um, you know, you have the technology side of Backstage, your components, resources, APIs, those kinds of things. You also have your domains and systems and all of the pieces on kind of the organizational side. As you think about your experience and setting up you know, okay, well, as a, as a backstage user, these are the types of problems that I need to solve. And thinking about your experience design of how to get them, if you do it correctly, it's like, okay, well, I have an outage. Well, I can have an experience that leads me to that, that's going to give me information that's in context to the thing that I have. So if I end up inside of a, of a component, I see all of the things across my plugins for that individual component. I'm not having to go into any dashboard program. I'm not going to throw in another bus. But then you have to filter things down. You have to you do, sometimes you have to do a lot of work to get to what information you actually need. And this makes it so much easier because it's inside of the experience, even though it's pulling information from many places across the organization. Awesome. Thank you so I think much, we have Chris. One more over here. He had his hand up at first, but I know you don't have a mic. But if you want to, any quick picks for good survey tools? Uh, there are a lot. Of, there are a lot of good survey tools. Um, we do have a partnership with DX. So, like, uh, it, then there's the Spotify plugin stuff. Um, we've done a lot of work with a, a lot of different folks. We've done everything down to just using Google Forms. Um, I, you know. I have personal preferences on what I like over what I don't like, but in the end, get information in any way possible. Listen, understand what the problems are, and then figure out how to react, figure out how to measure it, and, and show the results. And that's how you build that organizational momentum to be able to drive change, not necessarily now, but well into the future. Awesome. Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Appreciate it. Thanks once again.